over. Please put your hands together for Gracie Armijo! Tells you how old I am. Well, you know what? As we go along the show, we're gonna get taller and taller. Just want to make you, guys <laughs> you know, Benny. I love the way you say my last name because you know what? I can't even say my last name right. Especially if I'm drunk, I become the cougar. Gracie, I'm Mijo. <laughs> or sometimes. I like to drink a lot of coffee, take some diet pills, drink, you know, a Red Bull, and then I'm talking really fast, and all of a sudden I'm Gracie, I'm a hoe. <laughs> but sometimes I like to relax and smoke some pot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I become Gracie Army Hoe. <laughs> but it's cool, hey, I just try to serve my country any way I can. Yeah. And. My friends get mad at me because I went to school in the 60s and they didn't teach us our phonics. So when I read, I like memorize it. So when I say something like, oh, let's go eat it out, out yard instead of out back, my friends get mad or let's go shopping at whatever 21. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I don't speak Spanish and I know all the Latin people have that special slang word for you, like Pinocha. <laughs> I really do because I take the train to work and people are always coming up to me and they're asking me questions in Spanish and then all of a sudden I take the I also go to the market with the Spanish music because you know produce is really cheap and the meat's good <laughs> <laughs> so they tell me how much I owe in Spanish so I thought okay I need to learn some Spanish so I actually went to adult school community college my friends were happy with my Spanish so now it's cool because I'm really proud to say I can speak Spanish because when they ask me anything, I just tell them, no habla español. <laughs> and growing up, my dad was really strict with us. I mean, he was really strict because he said everything was against the law. I mean, I would want to go outside, and oh, it's against the law. And I'm Catholic, so I was afraid to have sex because I thought it was against the law. I mean, it was so bad that I would have this constant nightmare out here, this, I'd be in a hotel room and I'd hear this, come out, come out, you need to come out with your legs up, now. <laughs> because you, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I listen to everything my parents told me. You're programmed. So I was programmed, if I didn't love you, I wouldn't fuck you. <laughs> no, but, I don't know about you guys, but I really do believe in love at first sight. Because every time I went out, I was falling in love all the time. <laughs> so I thought, I really do need to deprogram myself, okay? So what I did is I met this Latin guy, he was 6'2". Oh, he had a really nice chest. He had a six pack and he had that bunny troll going on. Oh my gosh, he was like all over me. Then all of a sudden I'm here, ba -ding, ba -ding, ba -ding. what happens, the phone starts ringing. Please, you guys know how to be a dream. Because Latin guys, they're not 6'2", they're more like 5'2". <laughs> and if they have a six pack, you know where it's gonna be? In the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was married. And I was married to a Latin guy. I'll tell you guys, Latin, I mean, he was like, I think he was macho, but I'm not really sure. But I think he was macho. But we would always party. We were always going to parties all the time. And it was, you know, I'd be in the house with all the women and he'd be outside with all the guys. And then he's calling me because he needs a beer. So I'm, you know, my friends are calling, hey, your husband's calling you, calling you. Thinking, oh cool, I get to go outside and party with him. No, he wanted, to make, he wanted me to give him a beer. So I had to make him get off the ice chest to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, there's always payback, guys. Because I became the waitress from hell because I had to serve him his beans with the little boogers in them. <laughs> so here, honey, here's your booger beans, your carne asada and rice. So see, girls, you can always pay them back without them knowing. Because you know they always want you to give them their plate. Yeah. And uh, marriage, too. And no, I, I cook for my husband all the time, and I'm thinking I'm a really good cook. And I'm cooking, and uh, he says, it doesn't taste like my mom's. Hmm, it doesn't 
taste like your mom's. So does this mean I have to ask your mom how to suck your dick too? <laughs> and then he said, yeah! <laughs> Can you believe that? But you know what, I'm a good wife because I practiced for a few weeks till I was really good at it. <laughs> and then he had to ask me who I was blowing. So I told him, honey, go ask your dad. <laughs> yeah. And I'm getting old, I hate to admit it. I didn't realize how old I was until I started getting letters from Rose Hills and Forest Lawn. <laughs> I said, damn. And then CVS sent me a sample of a Depend. <laughs> and the city I live in said I can use their senior citizen facility. Damn, it's like getting old sucks. Because, you know, you have to, I'm buying like, cream all the time. Oh, I need to stay young, I'll buy cream. So I thought, oh, I'll put some cream down here to look young. <laughs> but you know what, cream's too expensive. So I just let the bush grow back. <laughs> yeah. And when I turn 50, I'm actually, I won't tell you how old I am, I'll tell you later. <laughs> But when I did, did turn 50, I went to the doctor to have a physical, because I'm thinking, oh, I gotta find out what's wrong with me. So I go get my results, and what does he say? Oh, Mr. Mijo, Mr. Mijo, do you know you have high cholesterol? Okay, that's no cheese, no fried food. There goes all my Mexican food, right? Then he says, oh, Mr. Mijo, you have diverticulitis. Well, if you don't know what that means, that's in intestines, you have little pockets, so you can't eat seeds, popcorn. Okay, there goes all my snacks. Then he says, Mr. Mijo, oh, Mr. Mijo, you have high blood pressure. So there goes all my canned and frozen foods. And then I just looked at him and I was just was really sad because I told him, doctor, doctor, thank you for telling me that I am gonna die because I know I'm gonna die from starvation. <laughs> yeah. And getting old too, your friends change also. Because, you know, they don't even wanna go to parties anymore when they're for their birthdays. You know what they wanna do? They want to go to Sunday brunch. <laughs> At nine o'clock in the morning. By 12 o'clock, these bitches are fucked up. <laughs> you know, the guy, one in the bathroom, throwing up her $30 brunch. Then you got the other one who thinks she's at the bar and she's at the omelet bar. She's like, oh, let me have uh, some eggs. <laughs> and then you get the one who's all depressed. She starts crying because she almost died. But then she says, I almost died and I was starving. Do you ever think about what you want to eat for your last meal if you knew you were going to die? Like, sure, no, not really, but she goes, well, I want fried chicken, corn, and mashed potatoes. I said, what? This bitch is crazy. Why would you want KFC? Because <laughs> you know what? I'm Catholic, and for my last supper, I'll tell you, I want Holy Communion and a good glass of wine because I love my Jesus juice. <laughs> yeah. And my daughter, like I said, before I go, my daughter got married last year, and you know, weddings are very expensive. So I knew if, if I knew she wanted to be a princess or queen or whatever for one day, I would have gave her a quinceanera or a sweet 16. <laughs> but the thing I want to tell you about is that I had to meet the parents. And the mother says, do you know we only speak Spanish in this house? I said, cool, because I know Spanish. <laughs> no habla espanol. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gracie Armijo and thank you. God bless. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Dressing like a cougar with that shirt on. Look at that. Trying to hook up with a young 21 year old. You ever been with an older woman, bro? How old? Oh, shut the fuck up. That's a baby. That's a baby to me, bro. And you know what sucks is I actually say that now? Because, you know, I always thought I was going to be young forever. I was buck wild when I was your age, bro. I was fucking buck wild. But I remember I was in Texas about three, four years ago. Right?